Hello, and what's up Wednesday? I'm Ashley Bennett, and this is Erin Ash. Um, so every week, I, or almost every week, I should say, <laughs> I try to do these sort of intuitive videos for you guys where you either get like guidance or a message of some kind, or frankly, I just end up talking about energy or, you know, pulling cards, things like that. And uh, this week, what I decided I was gonna do is just pull a couple cards and talk a little bit about um, the difference between thoughts and feelings. <laughs> so uh, as an intuitive healer, I also try to teach people how to tune into their own intuition. And it's interesting because the mind will tell us all sorts of things that aren't necessarily true. And unless we can actually um, sort of push past those thoughts and focus more inward on the feelings and how we actually feel about something and trust that more, we will a lot of times go on this ride where we just let the mind take over and we, we just start to um, accept that these thoughts that pop into our mind are true. And typically, they're not. So if we can actually tune into our feelings and not let our emotions just take us on a ride, we, um, we already have like a better foundation to sort of push off of and can tune out, like I said, a lot of the false... Uh, false evidence appearing real, which is what fear stands for. False evidence appearing real. Um, so yeah, I wanted to do that, but I also, I'm just shuffling and, until it feels right. And then I'm going to pull a couple cards and just talk about that energy as well. So yeah, if you, if you are curious about some different ways that you can tune into your own intuition, um, well, a lot of people talk about ha like having like a sixth sense, like even for me, like the way I psychically channel, it's considered a sixth sense, but in reality, we have eight different psychic receptors. Um, that's why I call them the clairs, because clairvoyance, all that means is seeing through the third eye. That's only one of the possible clairs that some people have, which is the way that I channel for the most part. Um, but technically I have all eight. So if you do not know which ones you have and which ones you don't, that's already kind of gonna make it a little bit more difficult. But I do believe that every human being is intuitive in some way and that we all have intuition and some type of intuitive abilities so that's another way and another reason actually to sit still and learn how to meditate because the more that you learn about yourself and once again tune out of the mind and more into the feelings and intuition of everything the more that you can start to lead yourself down like your own path basically Okay, so I'm gonna pull a couple cards and just talk about what I'm seeing and feeling here. Hmm, okay. So the first card I got is Accelerated Motion. And it's a number eight card. Um, and for me, what I'm feeling in this one is that there's something coming online for everyone right now that just feels like very rapid and very fast. Like something's changing really quickly or moving along even faster than we may have realized. Um, and even if we, it's something that we wished that would move faster and move along, including this year, right? Everyone's been like, oh, I can't wait till 2020 is over. Um, it's not looking like too much in January of 21 is gonna be that different <laughs> as far as like COVID rules and shutdowns and everything else. Um, so, so it's interesting. There's so many things that we wish that would sort of move along faster. And while that is happening, sometimes you have to be a little bit more, um, almost like careful what you wish for is the way I want to say it. Like be careful what you wish for, but really what it means is like, be more cautious of how quickly you're trying to move through something because maybe, maybe moving a little bit slower would actually give you more reward. So just keep that in mind. Um, the second card that I got is emotional loss, which is interesting. So this is very much like a feelings, emotion, a heart card um, for me. And so it can be loss of obviously someone or something or a relationship is the way that it, a lot of this is like coming through, but it's a loss of something mm, that is, like I said, more related to the heart and feelings and emotion. So even, it's interesting, even when we feel even if it's something we've actually lost, but even if it's just a feeling of loss of some kind, even if like we lost out on this year and all these opportunities and all these trips we had planned and all this stuff, that's not necessarily real. Um, something that you've experienced at all in this timeline, you can't really lose. And frankly, if it was meant to be, you'll do it anyway eventually. You'll do it next year, or you'll do it the year after or whatnot. Um, 
but it's really about also focusing on what you have and not just what you've lost. Because I think while this year didn't go as many people, many of us had planned, um, it doesn't actually mean that we necessarily lost anything. Like actually what I would, what I would love to see people do this month in particular is look at everything you've gained, including by spending so much time alone, right? Like a lot of us spent a lot more time alone than we usually do. Um, not seeing family, not seeing family for the holidays, not traveling, not, you know, with all the COVID restrictions. And so I want people to actually realize like, what did you actually gain from this year? And, and not put it in a perspective of, um, of losing out necessarily and see what comes out because while we can feel like we've lost something, it doesn't necessarily mean that we have. Um, so yeah, kind of tuning into the emotion of everything. And then the last card that I got is Harmony. So it's like this partnership, right? And this can be a relationship card, right? Where it's like Harmony um, with another person or a partner of some kind. To me, it feels much bigger than that. So the way that I'm gonna explain it is that it feels more universal. Like we are creating more, um, more, more of like in sync harmony, like union sort of with energy, with ourselves, with what we actually want, what we wanna create. And it's sort of this like synergistic thing that's happening within each and every individual person, which I think is kind of amazing. Um, and once again, I think when we heal ourselves, we actually do heal the world. We heal our family members, we heal the people around us because when we emit a different energy and frequency and we teach the other people around us how to do that, we are, are each individual our own little beacons. And then imagine a web of that everywhere. So that's why I also think healing for me is so important and why I talk about it so much because I think it, um, I think it does change the world. And people think it's selfish and self-centered, but it's not. <laughs> it's when you heal yourself you can actually heal yourself and heal others around you it's simultaneous which is pretty cool but there is definitely this harmony that's sort of coming on the line for um, especially this month is the way that I keep reading a lot of these cards actually so so yes yeah, so it's accelerated motion emotional loss and harmony and so that's like your little energy reading for the week and I hope you guys enjoyed it <laughs> all right I'll see you guys next week